Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. Between aging and busy lifestyles, many women struggle with maintaining their physical and mental wellness. At Aquavita Concierge Healthcare Services for Women, we can help you revitalize your health and reclaim your life. We start from within by balancing your hormones, allowing your body to achieve and maintain desired weight goals. We also specialize in peptide therapies, regenerative medicine, sexual health, and aesthetics in our state-of-the-art facilities. Feel better, look better, live better. At Aquavita, visit aquavitality.com and begin your journey today. Did you know that for a few hours last night, Santa Claus was missing? Now the story can be told. So let's move the clock back to 1 a.m. Christmas Eve and find Red Skelton. Now, uh, excuse me, Red Skelton. I didn't know you were still out. Yeah, Fred, I was reading some of my Christmas cards. Here's one from Milton Berle. Well, how about that? It's got the same verse on as I sent him last year. <laughs> that guy even steals some Christmas cards. <laughs> Say, uh, uh, that's a nice card there. Yeah, it's from Jack Benny. Oh. And it's got a beautiful little personal... A uh, handwritten note on the side here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's it say? This style of a card, a dollar fifty a dozen. Are <laughs> <laughs> right, you having any fun, Mister Fred? Oh yes, yes. But I'm glad uh, the Christmas shopping is over. Yeah. You think it's going to be a nice Christmas? Well, it has been a nice holiday so far. Yeah. Peace on earth for sure. You better start reading something besides those comic books, boy. <laughs> But you are a good house boy. <laughs> boy, get a load of the boy, will you? <laughs> this guy had the seasick pill concession on Noah's Ark. <laughs> he's so old, he's his own ancestor. Should have left it alone. Uh, you'll, uh, you'll pardon me for saying this. Yeah. I may be old, but I'm still young enough to hang the stockings over the fireplace with the children. Uh, tell me, where's yours? Right there with the airway. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put the other one on. My foot got cold. You open your present yet? Yeah, well, I know, sir. Santa hasn't come yet. Are you kidding? Santa Claus hasn't come. Why, it's 1.30. Yes, and oh, and it's got me worried. wonder what happened to him. I don't know. Maybe he thought Los Angeles smog was one big chimney and got lost. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go outside and look around. You know how these flight conditions are now. Oh, my, it sure is dark out tonight. Yeah, that's because the sun's not out. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you feel silly when they ain't there. Huh? Uh, look at the distance. Look at the distance. They are falling comets. Oh, that's an airplane. Stop worrying now. Oh, I've got a right to worry. That's a falling comet. You better call the airport and tell them a falling comet's going to land out there. <laughs> Uh, Merry Christmas, Red. Did you like my present? No, Santa Claus hasn't been here yet. He hasn't been here yet either. Oh. What do you think's holding him up? Well, I don't know. They don't make chimneys the way they did in the old days. Maybe he got stuck in somebody's unit heat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is bad, Red. I can't sleep, you know, for thinking about it. No, neither can I. Tell you what, meet me down at the all-night coffee shop in ten minutes, will you? Shall we drive down there? No, let's ride piggyback. <laughs> Then everybody will think we're in the Christmas spirit, me carrying home a pedestrian. <laughs> hey, you know, everybody really has the Christmas spirit this year. I saw a pedestrian get hit when the ambulance came up and the doctor jumped out. He's, oh, broken arm. Like to have a gift wrap? <laughs> <laughs> well, back to this stuff. I'll meet you down at the coffee shop. Get a load of that jerk staggering down the middle of the street. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing in the street? Oh, what did you like to know? <laughs> well, hey, Lump Lump, get out of the street before you get run over. Yeah, well, that's the idea, Bob. That's the idea. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm giving these California drivers a Christmas present. <laughs> uh, 
not, it's not as bad as it used to be, though. You know, this morning, one guy played pocket billiards with me. <laughs> He bounced me off of three curbs into a manhole. Uh, Come on, I'll drive you home. I got news for you, boy. I'm not riding in that car. You have a hit something because you don't look right to me, boy. You just don't look right to me. I've seen a lot of drivers in my day, boy, but you just don't look right to me. Willie, and this... that goes for your uncle, too. <laughs> this is Christmas, Willie. Yeah. Now, why don't you go home to your wife? Yeah. She's probably worried about worried it. Worried about me. It's her fault that I'm like this. She says, Willie, dear, let's have an old-fashioned Christmas. So I says, why stop with one? <laughs> I'm dreaming of a tight Christmas, my friend. <laughs> now, look, Willie, I think you'd better go home. Why? I don't know if you've heard about it yet, but it's 2 a.m., and Santa Claus hasn't come yet. Well, I don't blame him. All the fighting and thieving that's going on, everybody yelling, peace on earth, and working on the atom bomb at the same time. <laughs> Everybody's out here. They're not friendly anymore. No. I, I don't blame Santa Claus for not coming. You ask me, boy. You just don't look right to me, boy. <laughs> Oh, I wouldn't say that, Willie. Gosh, think of all the disappointed people out there. Disappointed Santa Claus people. Come. I get the point. A lot of people care about the Christmas spirit. Nobody's friendly anymore. Look at that guy standing over in the park. I said, hey, boy, Merry Christmas. Hey, boy, hey, Merry Christmas. You know what I mean? How do you like that? Two selfies to extend greetings to me. Well, Willie, that's a statue. Mm-hmm. That's a statue. <laughs> well, I hope he don't try to drive home. How plastered can you get? <laughs> Well, I can't stand here yapping with you all night. Merry Christmas, Willie. Yeah. You know, i got to go buy a few things for the kids just in case Santa Claus doesn't show up at Are all. Are you serious? Danny hasn't really come yet? Well, I've been telling you for ten minutes something has happened to Santa Claus. Well, maybe the Teamsters Union pulled off the reindeers until they investigate and root off that red-nosed one. <laughs> <laughs> well, i got to go, boy. Now, hey, hold on. You keep yeah. saying you got to go home, but you're walking in the other direction. Well, that only goes to show you that my feet are smarter than my mouth. Well, <laughs> Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Willie. Ah, these jets don't look right to me. This is Red Skelton And right now I think we'd better take a minute To listen to a very important message From my sponsor I guess I'll get the radio news while I'm waiting for Skelton. And now, a special announcement. It's about Santa Claus, who has been mysteriously delayed. Mrs. Santa Claus told the Associated Press that Santa left to make his deliveries at 12 sharp, and she hasn't heard from him since. A worldwide search has been made, but no trace of his reindeer and sleigh, filled with over a billion dollars worth of gifts, has been found. Well, it's about time you got here. Yeah. Isn't that awful about Santa Claus? Yeah. Come on, let's go in this all-night beanery and get some coffee. Okay. Oh, I see our southern fried friend is on duty. <laughs> What are y'all going to hire? You got any chicken, hot chicken? <laughs> hot chicken? This is a cold turkey if I ever saw one. <laughs> Give us a couple of cups of coffee. Coffee? Mm -hmm. My, you fellas are really living. <laughs> What'd you do, pool your money? Mm. Here's your coffee. Yeah. And here's a couple of spoons and a book of matches. Well, what are the matches for? <laughs> the coffee's cold, and I thought you might like to warm it up. <laughs> Merry Christmas, honey. Well, Rod, you hey. think we've got trouble? Get a load of this old lady that just came in. Hey, yeah, that's old Molly the Moocher. Mm. Get a load of that fur coat she's wearing. It looked like it jumped on her from a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, boy. Merry Christmas. <laughs> couldn't see you. <laughs> Say, you couldn't see your way clear to help an old silent picture star, could you? <laughs> you were in pictures? Years ago, yeah. I was a belle of Hollywood. Now the only way I could take a man off his feet is to offer him a chair. <laughs> Say, you don't happen to have a cigarette, do you, fella? Well, yeah, here, keep the pack. Really? Oh, there's six or seven good butts in there, yes. 
You were really in silent pictures? Yeah, I was in the Nickelodeon when it wasn't worth two cents. Yeah. Say, you ought to happen to have a match on you. Yeah, you? Here, here's a light. Oh, thanks. Uh, can I keep the lighter? No, no, no. <laughs> hey, Rod, I think this old gal's a pickpocket. Well, whatever gave you that idea, youngster? You got your hands in my pocket. Oh, well, I was only warming it. It's cold. <laughs> Say, Bunny, you wouldn't happen to have a little Christmas spirit on your hip, would you? On my hip? Look, uh, you don't look like the type that drinks. Oh, it wasn't for me. My canary has a touch of virus, and I thought little Nip might fix him up. <laughs> Say, uh, uh, you wouldn't by any chance have a bus transfer on you, would you? <laughs> Say, don't you have any income? Well, I'll tell you. Business was slow this Christmas. Those store detectives caught up to me before I got my shopping bag half full. <laughs> Say, uh, could you spare a saw buck, huh? Well, all I got's a $20 bill. Well, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Say, if it's easy on you, I'll accept a money order. I don't have any money orders. Oh, a stamp? No. Poker chip? Look, Grandma, <laughs> if you need money that bad, here, wait, where's my wallet? It's missing. Okay, hand it over, Grandma. Well, here it is. Sorry. You shouldn't leave it laying around in your pocket like that. <laughs> Say, it, it, you don't happen to have the time, do yes, you? Yes, it's no. Okay, hand me my watch. Uh, here it is. I'm yeah. sorry. How do you like that, Rod? Rod? Hey, Rod, where do you go? Okay, hand him over. <laughs> here I am, Scout. Oh. right behind you. Now, don't get excited. Yeah. Well, Merry Christmas, boys. Big ones, though. <laughs> This is Red Skelton, and right now I want you to meet the people who bring you this program. They're fine people, so let's take a few seconds to hear what they have to say. I read at 2 o'clock in the morning and no sign of Santa yet. Boy, what are all the parents going to tell their kids when they wake up in the morning? Gee, I can't believe it. You know, we've always taken Santa Claus for granted. Now he doesn't show up. Maybe that's why, Rod. Maybe we just don't deserve him anymore. Well, I guess Junior's already heard about it. Look, the lights are on up in his room. Yeah. Maybe I should stop in and comfort the little guy. You know, he rather likes me. Yeah, well, I'll see you later, Rod. Uh, Merry Christmas, Red. No, it can't be. Hey, Skelton, come on back. Skelton, look up on Junior's house. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Rod. Who's there? It's me, Rod O'Connor. At three in the morning? Blow your breath through the keyhole before I open the door. <laughs> I haven't been drinking. Open up. What's wrong, Rod? Well, haven't you heard? Santa Claus hasn't made any deliveries. And I know why. Come here and look up on top of your roof. If Santa's in this house, something's happened to him. Look, the light is on up in Junior's room. <laughs> well, let's go see why he's up. Here. Here's his room. Junior, are you asleep? I'm sleeping like a little lamb, kiddo. <laughs> Getting down him moseying around in my pillow. Junior, you open up. Santa Claus is in here and he wants to see you. You mean he got your way? Where is that big red blimp? Where'd he go? <laughs> That's what we want you to tell us. Here, now, let go of me here. How would I know where Santa Claus is? I guess a little kid. I've been asleep. <laughs> now, look here in Junior's room. Tricycles, dolls, electric trains, football. Yeah, boy, I loaded this year, boy. Junior, out with it. Where's Santa Claus? Yes, Junior, out with it. I ain't talking till I see me mouthpiece. I demand a habeas popsicle. <laughs> a habeas rip your cork or something. Rob, do you realize what he's done? Yes, he's kidnapped Santa Claus. Yeah, that booby tap in the chimney really worked this time. Oh, <laughs> there's just no end to your meanness. I got a feeling I'm going to wish there was no end to me, too. <laughs> No, I never thought I'd grow up to see a thing like this. Well, I got news for you, kiddo. You didn't grow up. You grew out. I don't know where he gets it from. Yeah? We never had such thoughts when we were children. Well, naturally, there wasn't so many people then, and they only had 13 states. Wouldn't they? Oh, come on. I'm not that old. Oh, no. Pop says you helped Paul Revere saddle his horse. I did not. Oh, no. The British is coming. Good luck, Paul. Drop me a card from Lexington. Hey, Junior. Junior, now, this is on far enough. 
Now, where is he? Yeah. Answer me. Where is Santa Claus? No, you don't, boy. I've cornered the market, and I aim to keep it that way. Oh. You know. Why can't you be good? I have been good. For the last few weeks, I've been so good it'd make a kid like me sick to think about it. You know. <laughs> look, look all I would have gotten if I hadn't thought up this little scheme. Look what the little old boy was going to give me. Powell's marks, his, hers, and mine with a skull and crossbones on it. <laughs> well, that's no reason for kidnapping Santa. Yeah. Why don't you act like other little kids and hang up your stockings? I did. Not only did I hang up every pair I own, but me high tops and a windsock from the airport. <laughs> Will you stop chattering and tell me where he is? Close I the did. door. Wait a minute. Somebody's banging on the closet no, door. No, that's the moths. They've taken up tap dancing. <laughs> I'll bet it's the moths. <gasps> it's Santa Claus. Me skunk patrol training has failed me again. <laughs> This is Red Skelton asking you to listen to a very important message for the next few seconds. Okay? Thanks. Hey, guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun, too. It's a thing, and now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino-style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere and each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. With Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry. Sorry. We're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no. Lucky Land Casino. With cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.